953 14th Street. You can see it's a two level house. I think it's Parmestone over wood. Semi detached on one side. It's about two feet to the house. You can see the house party wall. The houses on this block, there's been a lot of development on this block. So that goes to Pennsylvania. It's about a block and a half from Potomac Avenue where it meets Pennsylvania Avenue in the Metro. That's the Roost development. Um, and this lot over here used to be owned by the people who own the Hill Rag. Um, and they sold, it used to be a hill with a farmhouse on it. And that was demoed and this was built. So that was about eight years ago or nine years ago. That was a condo conversion. And that was a store that was converted to condos. That's a developer. I don't know if you ever knew him, E.K. Ibrahim. Um, he, his work was not as nice as what people tend to do now, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, so this is a three-story house, two-story house with a crawl space two-story house there's a crawl space in the back as far as we know this was a two-story house um, that's probably one of the most recent sales on this block but about five years old five years ago it was sold it has a bump out in the back um, as well but here they went they came in right at street level have a stoop um, and down to the basement my house was the first one to dig down and as you can see, we have a few more steps up, a front patio, garden, and then a porch, and a few more steps down. Sorry, it's a little whimsical. And then the end house, they were always, the end houses were built with basements. Okay. Let us go in the house. So, it's a narrow staircase. Oh, six. See the shingles. I'm not going to go upstairs because it's really not that important, but We'll go into the backyard so you can see the lot. Okay. see here's the alley it's actually a pretty narrow alley here it's 10 feet that's from K Street and that is Ives and then this is the alley along behind Ives and as you can see it tees right into a one-story garage. Okay, back up. So we actually, just to give you a, a sense, we have all built off-street parking. So they have a swing gate and a side gate. We have like a carport brick garage. Um, we have fit two cars in. It is super hard to swing a car in in a 10-foot alley. 
So this is nice that it tees. Oh, let me give you a sense of the neighbors. The yellow-ish tan stucco is my addition, and it's only two stories plus the basement. This is the neighbors. They went all the way across, and they have a pop-up in the back. But as you can see, it's um, not the full depth of the house. Um, and up there they have, if you can see, a little gate up there that is a roof deck that they never use. <laughs> um, I don't know what that's going on there, but in there there's a door to like sunken utilities. I do know the neighbor next door and the neighbor next door to that. I don't know who lives in that condo building that was done by a developer a while back, but I, I know almost everyone on the block. Um, and let's see if I can give any more views. 